Hi everyone, Savannah Tree Foundation Field Manager Jake Henry here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about Spanish moss, or Tillandsia usneoides. Um, this is a really iconic plant here in the south, especially here in Savannah. It's really well known for being draped across our live oaks, giving it that beautiful character. Um, now Spanish moss, I've talked about it a little bit before in our live streams, but I wanted to give it its own video today. Uh, it's what we call an epiphyte. So epiphytes are plants that live on other plants. Uh, it doesn't mean that they're parasitic, you know, they're not explicitly hurting the tree, um, but we'll talk about some ways that maybe they're not so great for trees. Uh, but epiphytes just live on top of a tree, um, and many of them just get their moisture from the air. We've talked a lot about how roots are so important for trees to collect nutrients and water, uh, but epiphytes actually just pull all that water from the air, uh, and that's a big part of the reason you don't find Spanish moss in other parts of the country uh, because it's not as humid. They really need that water that's in the air to survive. Uh, now let's do a little, a little close up for those of you that aren't familiar with Spanish moss. Uh, it's basically just this really uh, fine, mossy, almost, almost grass that grows on the trees. A um, little powdery. Uh, now, as a side note, there is a an old wives' tale that red bugs live in Spanish moss. Um, now that's partially true. Uh, Spanish moss is on the ground; they will live in that, and they they can you know be a real nuisance uh, with those bug bites. Uh, but when Spanish moss is on a tree, there's actually no red bugs in it. So uh, it's kind of a a fun thing. Uh, and related to that, if you ever need to remove moss, you don't have to be afraid because there's no red bugs in it. Now, why would we want to actually remove the Spanish moss? Well, there's a couple reasons. Um, when Spanish moss really builds up a lot, and I picked this tree in particular because it's got quite a bit on it, it can do a couple negative things for the tree. Now, as I said, it's not actually parasitic, but as it builds up, the moss can actually cover the leaves and prevent the tree from photosynthesizing. And that's one of those key features of trees. They have to photosynthesize to stay alive. So if the moss is covering the leaves, it's really affecting the tree's ability to create food for itself. Um, now that's one of the reasons, that's usually not too big of a deal. But another one that can really be pretty severe, especially here on the coast, is the weight of the moss. Now it might not seem like it when you grab it, it's pretty airy and light. But during a storm, when this moss is all wet and filled with water, it gets a lot heavier and it builds up and we have those strong, hurricane force winds, it can really put a lot of strain on the tree. So that normal strain that a tree is used to, you know, they flex, they bend, that's natural. But when you add all this extra weight, it can actually cause some severe damage to a tree and it can cause limb failure. Uh, you know, and it's, it, has, it takes quite a bit of moss to do that. You know, it really has to build up and have a lot of extra weight when it's wet, um, but it can happen and it does happen. So that's one of those reasons, it's actually not a bad thing to thin the moss out sometimes. Um, usually it's less of an issue on our live oaks because they have just incredibly strong wood. So it's really not too big of an issue on our southern live oaks, but here on this dogwood, they're not quite as strong. So this is a, a tree that would be a good candidate for some, some moss removal. Uh, now you can do that manually, you know, with a rake or some kind of tool, you can pull it out. There are also uh, some chemical applications, but they can be a little messy and expensive uh, and really isn't recommended unless the tree is really struggling due to the moss. But a really fantastic plant, you know, otherwise I don't want to <laughs> talk bad about Spanish moss. It really is a wonderful thing. It's a beautiful plant we have here uh, in Savannah and I hope you all enjoy it on our beautiful southern live oaks. Thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Take care.